Hello everyone, welcome back to this material characterization course. In the last class, we just uh, looked at uh, some of the problems involving the basic principles of uh, optical microscopy. In today's class also, we will continue that uh, tutorial class and uh, I would like to solve two more problems and then we will move on to the next topic. So, the problem number 6 which I am going to sorry problem number 5 So, this problem is involving the phase contrast microscopy principle. In a phase contrast microscopy, two specimens are inspected. Specimen 1 has the refractive index of 1.83 and the specimen 2 has the refractive index of 1.58 and the air medium has the refractive index of 1.33 and if you assume that for the same thickness of the both specimens say about 0.5 micron, which specimen will exhibit greater contrast. So, what is that uh, I hope you will 
remember the formula which one should be used. So, let us uh, start with contrast as we have discussed in the one of the class that uh, contrast is a difference in the intensity. That is you can write contrast is proportional to difference in intensity that is delta i which is proportional to phase difference and the phase difference is proportional to path difference. So, this is how you have to connect connect all this uh, phenomenon. Contrast is proportional to difference in intensity, which is related to phase difference and which is again related to path difference. So, we can write for a specimen 1. And then specimen 2, we can write So, we can write like this for uh, specimen 1 as well as specimen 2. Now, we know the formula for optical path difference. So, for the case of uh, we can say in specimen 1, equals we can say n 1 minus n 2 times t, which is nothing but So, we simply substitute this values of n 1 and n 2 for a specimen into this uh, formula. The path difference is the difference in the refractive index times the thickness of the medium. So, you get the path difference of for specimen 1 is 0 0.25. 
similarly we can do So, now you have uh, two values belonging to specimen 1 and then specimen 2. So, now you have to think how do we interpret this values. So, what is that uh, the path difference? exhibited by specimen 1 is greater than path difference exhibited by specimen 2. So, obviously, you know how to relate this with the contrast. So, therefore, specimen 1 will exhibit greater contrast. So, it is a very simple problem, but uh, to in order to bring the idea of uh, phase difference and uh, it is uh, useful. We will now move on to problem number 6.
So, the question is for a compound optical microscope prove that m total that is magnification total magnification is equal to f 1 divided by u 1 minus f 1 times v 2 minus f 2 divided by f 2, where f 1 is focal length of objective lens, f 2 is the focal length of eyepiece lens, u 1 is the distance of object from the objective, v 2 the distance of image from the eyepiece. So, before you make an attempt to solve this kind of uh, a derivation, you better go back and look at the ray diagram what we have discussed in the class for a compound optical microscope. If you remember or recall the, the ray diagram, then it is very easy to derive this. So, the first step is we know m total is equal to objective and eyepiece. So, this we know magnification total magnification is equal to magnification achieved by the objective lens times the magnification achieved by the eyepiece lens. So, we also know that from the ray diagram we can write V by U. So, for Objective lens, we can write one by f one equal to one by u one plus v one. So this can be written as one by v one. f 1 minus 1 by u 1. So, what I have written is for an objective lens the lens equation you can write 1 by f 1 equal to 1 by u 1 plus 1 by v 1. So, you can rearrange this to this form then from there you can write uh, an expression for v 1. So, we can derive an expression for V 1 from this like this. Similarly, so you substitute that uh, V 1 in this equation that is for M objective is f 1 u 1 divided by u 1 minus f 1 by u 1. So, you you write like this f 1 divided by u 1 minus f 1. So, this you can consider as one equation one. What I have done is you basically this is the equation basic equation and from this length length equation we can obtain an expression for V 1. 
and then I am simply substituting this into this and then I am getting this kind of an expression. Similarly, for I piece, let us assume that uh, and 1 by f 2 equal to 1 by u 2 plus 1 by v 2 and we can assume this similar expression You substitute this so you get. Uh, this kind of an expression for an magnification of I piece. So, now we can compare uh, 1, 2 and let us consider this uh, as 3 magnification total is equal to magnification of objective. So, let us write like this. I will rewrite this here for convenience and then from 1, 2 and 3. We will be able to write m total equal to the expression this is what we have asked in the question. So, what you have to remember is uh, again I am telling you before you try to solve this a small derivation look at this uh, ray diagram of the compound lens what we have seen in the class. Then you correlate this uh, magnification of objective lens and uh, magnification of eyepiece lens geometrically and then verify them and then look at this expression then it is it will be very a simple derivation. So, with that uh, I want to stop this uh, tutorial class and uh, we will move on to the, the next topic uh, on scanning electron microscopy and then we will also take up uh, a couple of tutorial classes involving some of the basic principles after going through the theory and the working details of the SEM. Thank you.